video today focuses on the risk of clot after low risk foot and ankle surgery, particularly around the areas known as the hind foot and the midfoot. And it focuses on an Australian study where 114 operations were done and they basically looked at which patients got a clot at weeks two and week six without surgery. Now, an example of a hind foot operation, which was included in the surgery, um, are operations that are basically around the ankle, um, just marked there, or around what's called the subtalar joint, which is just marked below here. Um, and it usually involves uh, bones such as the tibia, uh, marked there, um, the talus, marked there, or the calcaneus, um, otherwise known as the heel bone, just marked there. And that picture there, as we see many of our other diagrams, is looking at the ankle from the side position. Now, um, the other type of operations that were included are midfoot operations, so operations around the middle of the foot marked in the red square there. Basically, operations on the toes were not included in this study, so um, really shouldn't be um, thought of um, when you're thinking of uh, hind foot or midfoot operations. Now, an example of a hind foot operation that was included in the study is an ankle fusion, which we talked about many times before on this channel. Um, the ankle fusion basically involves making the tibia and the talus into one bone, as is marked with the arrow just there. So that was one of the uh, operations that were included in the study. One of the other ones that was included is something called a subtalar fusion, which we've also previously talked about. And it basically means that um, the talus bone and the calcaneus or heel bone are made into one bone, as is marked on the diagram just there on the right. So we've got two, two operations here that were commonly included as part of the study um, as hind foot operations. Now the other type of operations we talked about were midfoot operations. Now midfoot fusion is one of those. Um, this diagram on the left there is just the foot um, from the top um, and then the diagram on the right there is with the fusion. Um, the red arrow there just marks that we've got multiple bones there in the middle of the foot whereas on the right there a number of those, at least four or five, have been made into one bone and that's what a midfoot fusion is, usually done for osteoarthritis. Uh, and then one of the other operations that was done in the study, which is another hind foot operation, is known as a calcaneal osteotomy where the, where the heel is basically broken and moved into a different spot and held with a screw, usually for patients with either a high arch or a very low arch, such as a flat foot. Um, so these are the type of operations that are commonly done in foot and ankle surgery that were included in this study. Now, um, no blood thinning medications were given to the patients over the six-week period, and most of the patients were in a splint for the first two weeks following the surgery. Um, ultrasounds were done of these patients at weeks two and week six uh, post-surgery looking for a clot. Uh, and if you had a clot at two weeks, you were removed from the study, so you didn't get that six-week uh, scan. And the results were really interesting and really useful for you to know if you're going to have foot and ankle surgery. So at least 25% of the patients, 29 of 114, developed a DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis, which is basically a clot in the lower leg. Um, 20 out of those 29, or two-thirds of them, developed it at the two-week mark rather than the six. So that's uh, pretty impressive. That they are pretty high numbers there and a little bit scary. Um, in terms of the other results, uh, the age of the patient made a difference. So if you had a clot at the two-week mark, your average age was around about 62 years. Um, if you didn't have a clot at the two-week mark, your average age was around about 49 years. That suggests probably the older you are, the higher risk you are of having a clot following these types of surgery. Um, the other results that were interesting were that really people didn't show many signs of these clots. So at least 75% of patients that had a clot at two weeks didn't show what they call any clinical symptoms, meaning pain in the calf and those sorts of things which often indicate a DVT. Um, and at least 78% of the patients that had DVT at six weeks also had no symptoms. So um, just because you feel okay doesn't mean you just necessarily don't have a clot. Um, but the crux of this study is at least one in four patients that have low risk foot and ankle surgery in this type of procedure um, are at risk of getting a clot. And this makes it really important that you're on some sort of blood thinning medication uh, during and after the surgery. And that's something you really need to discuss with your doctor and surgeon. Um, but please uh, take a look at one of our other videos on ankle fusion just here. Um, alternatively, please hit the foot and ankle surgery button there um, to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your input and listening to this channel uh, and see you next time.